Tomorrow, Fred Hoiberg will face the biggest challenge of his young coaching career. With just one day to prepare for a very talented North Carolina team, Hoiberg has to completely reinvent his team. Gone is George Niang and the huge presence that he brings on the offensive end, and the Cyclones have to adjust. Somebody will step up, and they always do uh, in situations like this. Uh, we've got guys that uh, they're itching to get out there on the floor and, and uh, get this opportunity uh, to go out and compete on the biggest stage. Uh, we've had guys fill in uh, for us throughout this season uh, that have done a very nice job. Uh, people ask me how you can replace them, who you can replace them with, uh, and you can't just do it with one guy. Uh, it's going to be by committee. So to put together a game plan when you lose, you know, arguably your most important player uh, in, in 48 hours is, is tough. You know, we'll do the best job we can. You know, after you lose one of your key contributors, one of our brothers, it's, it's definitely tough. You know, it was a bittersweet feeling yesterday winning that game, but, you know, losing George at the same time. But, um, you know, not much had to be said. You know, we've been in a situation like this with me earlier in the year, and guys know that it's, uh, you know, basketball is a game of adjustments, and this is an adjustment that we're going to have to make. So, uh, you know, we're focused in, and we know what we've got to do, and, and we know guys got to step up. So now it's a matter of going out and playing the game. There's indecision. You don't know if... If they're sitting over there and saying, well, North Carolina, boy, they rebounded it really well. We better play a big guy. Or are they saying, well, the heck with the big guy. Let's put the best five, our best five basketball players on the court. You know, and my guess is that if they would do that, but it is a guess. It's easier on their side because they control it. We're reacting to what they do. But uh, it is a big time loss for them. But uh, they can spread you even more now. And that's something that's uh, it's difficult for us because we like to play some big guys. To give you an idea of just how important Niang has been to Iowa State's success, he's played a hand in 34.5% of Iowa State's made field goals this season, either scoring himself or having the assist. You hate that they uh, lost the youngster. I remember two or three years ago, I went to uh, watch a high school workout, and uh, Nerlens Noel was there, and I asked, I said, who is that guy right there? I said, because I love him. And they told me he had already committed to Iowa State. And that was George Niang, and uh, I just think he's a great, great player, and you hate that for the kid. Coach Smith used to always say he hated to play somebody when they just lost one of their frontline players because everybody banded together even more and were more motivated and all that kind of thing. So uh, I hate it for that reason too, but I hate it even more for the youngster because I've watched him play three or four times this year, and he appears to be really the kind of kid I would love to coach. Be good, control the glass, you know. Um, we have a great opportunity of getting out and playing our type of gap basketball and getting out and running. Uh, but it starts with the rebounding. We know that it's going to be a huge emphasis for us. And uh, um, it starts with, you know, guys like Dre coming in. And instead of getting, you know, 10 like he normally does, maybe he gets 15. You know, so it's, it's, it's all about guys coming in, uh, a lot of our guards coming in and gang rebounding as a team to try and nullify that, that uh, height advantage and athleticism advantage that they have. We just got to keep sticking to our game plan and continue to do what we did all year. And that's play together and play for one another and just keep buying in the coach's system, coach's system. But folks, this is no time to jump off the bandwagon. Iowa State still has two All-Americans in its starting lineup. They have Dustin Hogue and Monte Morris playing very well. They have several other good players ready to contribute, and they enjoy playing with each other. This is a team that will be led by George Niang tomorrow. He'll set the right tone for this group to go forward. Our guys are playing confident basketball. you got guys like uh, Monte Morris, uh, Dustin Hogue, Naz Long, Matt Thomas. You know, all those guys are playing the best stretch of basketball that they've had all year. Uh, Daniel Adozi played all three games in the Big 12 tournament, gave us very productive minutes. Uh, you know, Percy Gibson's waiting to get an opportunity to get out there. Sharon Dorsey Walker's waiting for an opportunity. Uh, they very well may get it tomorrow night. I mean, they're a really talented team. You know, they have a bunch of guys that score in double figures. Obviously, he's one of their, you know, heart and souls. You know, he does so many things well for them. Uh, that's going to be tough. Uh, but I think they're going to, you know, use that as motivation. They'll probably come together as a team, and they'll definitely be ready to play. Like I said, uh, for us, all year long, we've just been playing for each other, you know, not worry about you know, what the media is saying, what social networks are saying, things like that. And I think that's how we've been so successful all year is just, you know, like I said, batting and coaching system and, you know, love playing a game and playing for one another. You know, we're brotherhood. We're really close. And, uh, you know, we really don't care what people say. If they think we're going to lose the game, that's what they think. You know, that's our opinion. We're, we're okay with that. Uh, we're going to go out there, and uh, I, can, I can tell you one thing that uh, my guys and my team, we're going to play hard for 40 minutes, and that's all we can give. Well, these guys know I believe in them. Uh, you know, that's something that, that we try to instill is confidence uh, in our players uh, all throughout the season. Uh, you know, these guys all know our system. Uh, you know, I guess the one positive is we've got, 
you know, a thousand plays in our bank, and you just try to pick out the ones uh, that you can utilize your guys' skill set and put them on the right spots on the floor where they can be successful. These guys know I believe in them, and uh, you know they know the staff uh, loves them, and, and these players have each other's back. Uh, you know, and they've shown that all year with the way they've fought adversity and, and uh, handled tough situations. Uh, we're going to get through this.